Next, we have the writer and director from the new movie, Freedom Park, who recently visited the halls of Shepherd Hill. And luckily, the sham cameras were there to capture it all. Now, we have a clip. Take a look. So, Freedom Park was one that I came up with, and I wanted to do something that would showcase two actors, um, two lead actors, meaning Adam Sandler and Rob Schneider, or whoever, and, uh, and so I came up with Freedom Park. Uh, it's a story about two guys that owe a lot of money to the Mafia. We are going to show you a scene from the film, too. You owe me over half a million dollars. Get my money and do not, under any circumstances, leave town. And they start a gambling ring on Little League Baseball. Down to Freedom Park. They got to know we left. Wow, what a beautiful day for baseball. And uh, youth basketball to uh, try and kind of get that money back to pay off the mob. I want 100 bucks. You're on. It's not me, you're in it. What do you think about that, Henry? It's a fluke. Of course, those, those uh, aren't the best decisions that a couple of uh, guys in their mid-20s could make, but that's the decisions they made. And, it's kind of about the town and how the town is affected by this, the good things and the bad things that come out of it. Um, but it's a fun ride. I think I know how to solve our problem. This town, they're crazy about these sports. Parents will bet on their kids' games. There is money to be made. Sounds good. What do you want? 20 bucks on the Blackhawks. Nice. If you started taking bets, the stands are almost double. Take a check. Sure. Yeah, I need to sign this over to you. I never acted in my life until college. In fact, I played basketball here. I went to Worcester Academy prep school to play basketball. I went to college on a scholarship to play basketball. And after my sophomore year, I shattered a bone in my foot. I had to put a screw in it, and I could never play basketball again. And one of the things that I did, there was like this big, you know, college-wide school fair, you know, student government table, drama society, Brothers and Sisters United. Um, I went to a Catholic school, so um, the, the Catholic community was like trying to sign you up to do all these retreats and whatever. And I just, I happened to be walking by the drama table. Um, uh, the girl who was there said, hey, Tim, she was in my English class. She said, hey, Tim, why don't you come do tech work, which would be, you know, like doing the staging in a play or doing the lighting. And I was like, tech work, yeah, I'm going to audition. I've never done it in my life. And I just kind of went out there, just, it's, you know, just, just for the heck of it, like I said. I mean, I, I walked out there, and I just tried it, and it turns out I really enjoyed it. Something I had never done in my life, but the best part about it was I wasn't just, I wasn't just a, like a, a person who was very one-dimensional, because up until then, I was just basketball. I never did anything else. I didn't even care about school. Um, and all of a sudden, I, I do this, and it just opened up my outlook because there are all sorts of things that I never even thought about before. You know what I mean? And so now I'm, out, I'm on, um, all my roommates at college were football players, hockey players, basketball players, and all st they still give me a hard time to this day. But not one of them ever, ever had the guts to get out there and do that. And that says a lot. I was just kind of thrown into things. Like I said, I've always wanted to be an actor. I've never taken classes. And uh, I was working in a cubicle which I hated for years. And I said, you know, someday I'm just gonna do it. Well, one day, boom, I did it. So I went to Harvard. And it's really hard to get in there because you have to have good grades. And now you guys need to study. If you guys wanna, you know, get into a better college for the advanced acting. Um, it was hard, but you have to learn to adapt. I really miss you. I missed you too. The goat told you not to leave town. I want in on the action. He's gambled away all of our savings on this operation that you and Mitch have going on. I'll fix things. You know what? I can't trust you. There was no reason for us to come back here. Do you think money is made by being honest? This is our operation! Skull? <laughs> Yours, $200. I'll pay. I go after your family. Okay, we can't just stand by and watch this happen. It's out of control. Let's get all this cash. Those men don't look like nice people. We're gonna tail them and see what they do. You know who I am and you're doing this. Maybe we don't run this time. And I never play for the money. Then what did you play for? Memory, kid, and they love us again. This is the matchup that everybody's been waiting for. Have you ever liked a girl that you hated? 
Jesse really has some serious power for an 11 year old girl. Now, I'll bet in two years that she'll be 13. It's not about money, it's about heart. Are you done with that? Great. Get out of there! Hotter than the sun. Today on Sham, we have a new introduction segment called Educators and You. I, the host, Mark, am going to be introducing Ms. Vada here, the new art teacher. I'm going to be asking her some simple questions, maybe some hard ones, some NCAST, some SATs. But, uh, Ms. Vada, why don't you come on over? Uh, how you doing? <laughs> I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. How how is the experience at Shepherd Hill so far? Very good. Very Everyone's good. very nice and friendly. Very good. Now, do you realize I'm almost as tall as you, um, sitting down? Yeah, it's a sad <laughs> thing. Okay. Anyways, so how do you like art here? Is it like a good environment? I think it's a very good environment. You know, because I'm teaching it. Yeah. Um, where did you go to school? I went to UMass Dartmouth in Dartmouth, Massachusetts. Sounds good. Sounds good. That's like that's like on the beach, right? It is on the beach. That's on the beach. Yeah. Did you go swimming in Dartmouth? I did. Of course, like beach. That's good. A lot of drownings there, though. Uh oh. You're really going to be a strong swimmer. Uh, I, I can't swim. Then you shouldn't swim at horse no. neck. No. Horse neck. That just sounds dangerous. It is. Yeah. Anyways, uh, did did you get a degree in art? Yes, I did. It was a degree in art education. In uh, in Boy Scouts, I got the art merit badge. I colored a blue duck. Good yeah. for you. Yeah. See, that makes an art teacher happy. Yeah. But the, the kid, he was younger than me, and he was like, ugh, blue duck. And I was like, Psh, I can draw a blue duck better than you can. And we had a race. It was really good. Anyways, uh, what was the other question? Uh, yeah, teachers, how do you like them here? Everyone seems very nice. Do you like the audiovisual production? Yeah, it's actually a lot of fun, and this, this new room is great. I'm having a lot of fun. And that concludes our first new episode of Sham. So we'll see you next week. Tell me how. Shema! <laughs> We're knights of the round table, we dance whenever able. We do routines and all the scenes of what we're getting for cable. We dine well here in Camelot, we eat ham and jam and spam nuts.